Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my spring and summer knitting plans. I love watching these videos. I've been watching a bunch recently and so I thought I would do my own. I've decided to put spring and summer together because I live in San Francisco and it never really gets that hot here. Um, so spring and summer kind of just melt into each other. But it is a lovely spring day today. Um, it's 60 degrees and sunny outside. I'm drinking an iced tea. Um, I have tea every day, but this is my first iced one. Uh, I just do hot tea, but it's so nice out today. And yeah, so go ahead and grab a drink, grab a project, and we will get started. I've only been knitting for about two years, so I haven't done a whole lot of summer knitting. I attempted to last summer um, to make a few like tank tops, camisoles, but I think the issue was I could never find the right type of yarn. Um, I tried working with cotton and I didn't love the feeling of it. I didn't love like how much it grew after like wearing it, after blocking it, that sort of thing. Um, and I did find some cotton that I liked the feeling of. It was from Wool in the Gang, but that yarn is like a worsted Aran weight yarn, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to use that thick of yarn. Um, it's quite heavy and really weighs down like the garment. So yeah, so I was just having a lot of trouble with yarn, but. I am excited this year because I live in San Francisco and it's not that hot. Um, I can use, continue to use like merino wool, just like fingering weight. I also am going to try out some yarn that's a little more summery, like some wool cotton blends, um, linen blends. Um, I think that's it. I'm not sure, but I am excited to use, not have to use like 100% cotton because it's not necessary. So in this video, I'm going to show a little mood board I made, um, just showing like the type of things I wanna make, the colors, the overall vibe. I'm gonna talk about the patterns I'm going to knit and what yarns I'm gonna use. I'm also going to share some patterns that I found that I like that I'm not gonna knit, um, either because I just don't have enough time or it's not doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. Um, and then I'm also going to share a little bit about what I plan on making on my knitting machine, um, which is a little harder to plan out because I don't use patterns on the machine, but I will talk about the yarn I bought and what I'm thinking for it. Okay, so here's the mood board I made um, for the spring and summer, what I'm trying to go for, the vibe I'm trying to achieve. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of bright colors, stripes cute small tops, very playful. Um, I think that's what I'm going for. And like specifically color-wise, I'm really loving lime, coral, and aqua, um, and then some like orange and yellow in there. So some very bright colors, less so pastel. I'm not really a pastel person, so just fun and bright is what I'm going for. Let's get into the actual patterns I plan on making in the yarn that I'm going to use with each one of them. I'm going to start off with um, the patterns I'm going to make with yarn that I already have in my stash. So I don't typically keep a really large stash. I like to buy yarn for a specific project in mind, um, which doesn't always work out, but that's what I try to do. Um, except for my knitting machine, I do have a larger stash for my machine but up here is the yarns that I have for hand knitting which isn't a lot as you can see so oh gosh um, to start off I have this beautiful yarn this is alpaca silk from blue sky alpacas um, it's 50% alpaca and 50% silk and the colorway is Kiwi. I got this um, at a local yarn store. It was randomly on sale. Um, so I got two of these for $11 total, which was awesome. And it's super soft. Um, it'll be great next to skin. I'm not sure 
I don't think I've ever used an alpaca silk blend, so I'm not sure how it's gonna wear or what the fabric, how the fabric is gonna behave, but we'll find out. Um, so with this, I'm going to be making. So with this, I'm going to be making the shell bra by Naked Knit. I have been wanting to make this pattern for a while. Um, and it just I love the like the detail on the chest it looks really beautiful I plan on turning this into more of a tank top than a bra just like adding some length at the bottom we'll see with how much yarn I have because this is all I have so we'll see if I can make that happen but yeah that's what I make that's what I'm gonna make with this Okay, the next yarn that I already have in stash is um, this Knitting for Olive Merino and Silk in the colorway Fennel Seed. Um, and this doesn't really scream like summer yarn, but I have this cardigan um, that's made in the same Knitting for, Olive, Knitting for Olive Merino and Silk. Um, and it's very lightweight. I don't feel like it gets too hot. Um, I mean, maybe it will, we'll find out, but I don't know. But anyway, um, here's the swatch I have for it. I am going to be making the Monday sweater by Petite Knit. Just a really classic, simple sweater. And this will probably be my first cast on just because it is the least summery thing that I plan on making um, and I want to get a good amount of wear out of it but I know I'll be able to wear it like on summer nights here for sure so that is that um, so yeah those are the only two projects I have planned with yarn that I already have in my stash and everything else I um, found online and chose for specific projects and I just recently purchased all of that so I don't have it here to show but I'll put up pictures of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it um, and yeah I'll probably I'll show that in a podcast when and as they come in as you saw in my mood board I'm loving the color like chartreuse lime and I've heard other people talk about it and it's like all over the place and I have this sweatshirt that I wear all the time um, constantly so I'm like I need to make something similar to this color so I am going to make a cardigan out of the Seneskarn Sunday in Lime um, I plan on making the well okay I actually haven't chosen which cardigan pattern I'm going to use. I'm, be I'm between two right now. One is the... Okay, I had to get my notes. So one is the Albini by Orlane Sucha or Suka. And the other is D. Johnny by Morissette. Um, they're pretty similar. Like, they're not that different. Um, they both have, like, a rounded collar, neckline. Um, the only difference is that the Albini is a raglan and the Dijani is a drop shoulder. Um, and the, the problem I'm having right now is I like the look of the drop shoulder better, but knitting the raglan is more fun and easier. So we'll see what I do for that. But either way, I plan on making one of those in the Sun is Gone Sunday in the lime color. And I'm very excited for it. So I also plan on making something um, in the same lime color, but this time in a tank top. Um, so I'm gonna make the pop top, the pop top, yeah. The pop top by Josephine Diring Knit. I actually tried, well, no, I actually did make this tank last summer, um, but I didn't love the way it turned out. I didn't love the yarn that I used. I don't remember what yarn I used, but. I didn't love the yarn that I used. I made it way too tight, way too short. Um, and yeah, but I want to make it again because I like the look of it. And I think it'll be a 
nice project to make. So I am making this in Sun and Sky Tin Lean, Tin Lin, like Tin Lin, Tin Line, Tin Lin. In Sun is Gone Tin Lin, um, in the same color, the Sunny Line color, but it actually, I don't know if like in person, like, because it's the same color, but since it's on two different bases, the Tin Lin is, the Tin Lin is, I think, a mix of cotton, viscose, and linen, um, so I don't know if the color is actually going to be different in person, but like in the pictures they look different. Um, and I like that they're different, hopefully they are, so that I can have the cardigan in that color, that's one way, and then I'll have this top that's like a slightly different color. Um, yeah, I'm going to make it in that, and then I'm going to do a contrast in a brown like leftover yarn that I have. Okay, the next thing I'm going to make is the Urban Sweater Tee by Le Paul. Um, it is this fun striped oversized t-shirt with some cute buttons and a collar. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be super wearable. I wanted to make some sort of t-shirt um, this summer, but I knew just making like a more fitted like plain t-shirt just wasn't that exciting for me um so yeah i want to make something oversized this is striped super cute and i plan on making this in knitting for olive merino held double um, in the colorway ballerina which is like the light pink and then petroleum green and i think it'll be a super fun contrast um hopefully i like it i am a little nervous about the colors but hopefully it'll turn out and be fun. Another pattern I plan on making by Le Paul is the Nina top. Um, there's two versions of this top, the one and two, and I haven't decided which one I'm going to make yet. They're not that different. I think they're both one shoulder like tanks, but one of them, like the one shoulder goes like all the way back, and then one of them, like the strap, like ends right here, and then there's like this other strap. I don't know, but um, they're pretty similar and either way I am going to make this out of again knitting for olive um, in the colorways cherry blossom and then the really bright orange I don't remember the name of it but yeah I think this also goes really well with like the mood board I made like these bright fun colors and the stripes I think it'll turn out really nice Okay, and then the last thing I have on my list to make is the Boyfriend Slipover by Tiffany Liu. I just think this will be, I've never made a slipover, which I feel like that's a rite of passage, like I feel like I should have um, by now, but yeah, I think I can easily wear it to work and like under like, I mean over like a white t-shirt. I love how that looks. Um, and I am going to make that in this peach color um it's cascade 220 sport i'm gonna make it in the peach color and yeah not much else to say about that okay so now i'm gonna talk about some patterns that i found and that i like um, and that i would love to make but either like i just like i'm probably not gonna have time because i have a good amount on my list to make already or it just didn't work out um but here they are so the first one is the Laura blouse by Josephine Dyering and this I wanted to make because I thought it was a cardigan um, because it looks like it's connected like by buttons in, in the center um, that you can just like open up but it actually is a blouse and it's like closed those buttons are just for like decoration um, and I could probably like modify the pattern and make it into a cardigan but I honestly just didn't want to do that work and I'm already making a cardigan so and then the next one I have is called the lonely leftovers vest by Ellen Berlin I love this pattern it looks super cute I've been seeing like vests like this like all over my Pinterest um, they are more like quilted vests but 
this is a nice like knitted version i'm just not making this because i don't know if i will wear it and if it'll work in my wardrobe or not um maybe if i still like it in a little bit i will end up making it okay and then the me oh my tea by park williams this was like the first like tea that i t-shirt that i found that seemed like something i would want to make um but like i said i'm making the other t-shirt that's that's big and boxy and oversized and striped that just seems more like worthwhile um to knit for me like the time i'm gonna put in it i want it to feel like fun and special um and then there's the soho top by kadri i decided not to make this and some like other tank tops just because I'm still planning on making some things on my machine on my machine and the majority of things I plan on making are going to be like tank tops and camisoles and boob tubes and like that sort of thing so I wanted to limit the amount that I made like hand knitting um and then lastly the mesh sweater by Suzanne Mueller I have been loving like open loose gauge knit mesh sort of knit um, but again I think I'm going to try to make something like that on my knitting machine so okay finally um, let's talk about my sort of loose plans for what I'm gonna make on my knitting machine I have like this stash of yarn but it's pretty much all like mohair and wool um and less so what I can use for summer so I bought some yarn from Denier Studio I bought um mostly viscose which I bought from them before this beautiful pink sparkly pink um so I bought um a aqua an aqua color viscose a mint color a like orangey reddish sunburn color and then um a brown one that's the same as this to go together with this pink one and then i bought which i didn't even realize because i bought this stuff first before i planned everything else for my hand knitting i bought um a cotton that is called guacamole and it's pretty much just another lime so I have a lot of lime colored yarn coming my way but um yeah so my plan for my knitting machine I really want to make some tube tops um I want to make more one shoulder tops I am hand knitting one but I want to make some more um I want to do some stripes I want to do the problem with like the knitting machine like with the yarn that I buy I really need to get it and then make a swatch on the machine to see how the fabric is and how it behaves before I decide what I'm gonna make but those are some yarns that I have that I'm gonna use this summer on the machine and yeah you'll see what I make like in my upcoming podcast that is all I have. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to and I will see you next time. Bye.